This has really been eating at me lately and I need to get it off my chest. Recently I got word that someone I once knew a long time ago passed away. She went by the name of Level 80 Cat Lady, and she was a wonderful artist. <laughs> the news hit me a lot harder than I thought it would. Honestly, I haven't felt this way about a death in my family before. I haven't even had a conversation with her in nearly 10 years, but it still hit me incredibly hard. I haven't been able to stop crying for the past two days. I know her only as an artist on the internet, but she was so funny, helpful, and encouraging. We were teenagers and I looked up to her. In retrospect, I think she really enjoyed knowing that she was helping aspiring artists out. I loved her comics, and some of them have been burned into my memory for a lifetime. She was the only person I knew that drew comic strips, and as someone who does that now, I realized she was the closest thing I ever had to an artistic peer. I started to get really interested in drawing again in April when I started drawing comic strips. I, whenever I draw these comic strips, I think about my biggest influences, which would be Bill Watterson's Calvin and Hobbes, uh, Charles Schultz's Peanuts, and of course, that one artist I knew as a teenager that made comic strips and encouraged me to make more of mine. <laughs> I wanted to get really good at them, and I wanted to show her some. I was hoping I could send her something that would make her laugh and I wanted to thank her. Saying it wouldn't have happened without her inspiration. I wanted to show her my three cats. See, getting back into drawing, I've been looking at my old cringy artwork back on DeviantArt. And when I look at my old drawings, they definitely make me cringe, of course. But under all these drawings, there were comments left by her. She always had something nice, something fun to say. She pointed out things I never noticed. She realized my artistic ability before I could even see it. Looking at my old stuff and working on new stuff, in the past month she retroactively became one of my most profound influences. I was getting excited to pull something off. Mm. <laughs> and then, I found out she passed in February. 16 years after beating cancer, she passed away. Quietly, overnight, in her sleep. It was heartbreaking. I still have her on my Steam friends list. <laughs> there's a part of me... <laughs> there's a part of me that admires... <laughs> there's a part of me that admires the fact that she was <laughs> on Steam playing games to the very last day she was alive. <laughs> I just wish I never lost sight of my path that she encouraged me on. I just wish that I was faster. I only wanted to thank her. <laughs>